The following is a reenactment of a brief demonstration that I did in which I detonated a few different kinds of balloons containing various gases, some of which were explosive. We did this for our science camp held for 6th and 7th graders. I like to believe that they actually enjoyed this uh, demonstration. I think they did. <laughs> in any event, I hope that you guys are at least entertained. To further demonstrate the explosive natures of hydrogen and oxygen gases, four separate balloons were inflated and detonated in the presence of our student attendees. Balloons were detonated with a lit candle fastened to the end of a two meter long stick made by securing two yardsticks together in succession. During detonation and the ensuing discussion, students were instructed to stand about 24 feet away from the balloons to wear eye protection and to plug their ears. The instructor also wore proper ear protection, essential to avoid hearing damage, safety goggles, and a lab coat during each detonation. This is a video recreation of the demonstration given. Okay, students, right now I'd like to do a very brief demonstration, which I will detonate balloons containing different gases. We're going to see which gases are explosive which ones are not. Let's take a look first of all at this yellow balloon, which you'll notice has been properly labeled as containing air from my own lungs. This balloon contains mic air. Let's see if it's explosive. You'll notice, of course, that I always wear proper eye protection and ear protection when I'm doing this. And I wear a flame-resistant lab coat. And I'm also a trained professional. So, Although this goes without saying, I would like to make sure to stress that none of you try this at home. So as you can see, that was not very flammable. Let's see if this balloon, filled with pure oxygen, is flammable or explosive. Once again, that didn't seem to be very flammable or explosive. Let's try this balloon, which is filled with hydrogen gas, the same gas that caused the Hindenburg to go down. That was pretty darn explosive. Let's take a look at our last balloon. This one is filled with a roughly 50-50 mixture of hydrogen and oxygen gases. Now, oxygen gas, when struck with a match we saw, is not extremely explosive, but if it's in a confined space with an ignition source, like flaming hydrogen gas, I think we'll notice that something different occurs altogether. Could you feel a shockwave? I know I could. So that concludes the end of today's demonstration on explosive detonations of different gases.